esteemed leader, Chairman Clegg. Attention please. We ask that you fill in all the available space in each row of our viewing area. Thank you. Now, to tell you more about living life with excess, here once again is Chairman Clench. By now, you must be wondering how excess tech can help you seize the future. Well, wonder no more. Here to show you how is our most advanced cyberbotic performance unit to date. Ah, welcome, weary travelers, to the great big universe of XS. You may call me Sir. That is S I R, which stands for Simulated Intelligence Robotics. What do you want, Skippy? No, you may not get out. You're a lucky volunteer. Now, dear friends, you're probably asking, what could the galaxy's leader in sophisticated technology possibly do for me? Well, how would you like to travel anywhere, anytime, at the touch of a button? Science fiction? No. Behold, the XS Series 1000. The first in a complete line of personal and commercial teleportation systems capable of sending bright-eyed biological life forms like yourselves and even lower life forms like Skippy from one place to another instantly. In a moment, I will break down our fuzzy little friend into a mass of molecules, send those molecules through the air above your head, and reconstruct them in the tube over here as good as new. And now, witness for yourselves the wonders of XS teleportation. Phase one of the process has begun. Disintegration into molecular components. Don't worry, it's practically famous. I know six phase. The molecules are beamed to the receiving chamber where atom by atom we construct our carefree travel. And here's the little skipper now. Oh, shut up, Scrubby. You're not burned. You've just got a healthy glow. Skippy, you, you just reminded me of a feature that I absolutely love. With the mere touch of a button, the entire process can be reversed. Bon voyage. And this is my favorite. It can be suspended <laughs> indefinitely. <laughs> My dear friends, you've just witnessed a small sample of the awesome power of XS teleportation. But wait, there's much more. Imagine if the trip were not merely the width of this room, but the breadth of a galaxy, the span of a universe. Well, imagine no more. Because soon one of you will be taking that trip. One of you will seize the future with excess. Bon voyage. Attention visitors, please gather your belongings, including smaller carbon-based life forms, and proceed to your right into a...
and move all the way to the end of your room. And we mean now. Thank you. All seats to your left. Proceed all the way to the end of that row. Remember, the future waits for no one, not even you. This one might be adequate. We're going to have to boost the IQ. There's a lot of genetics. And we've got our lucky traveler to whisk across the galaxy. In just a moment, the analysis module will rise. Please stand. Swinlock. Chairman Glenn. So, is everything on schedule? Well, to tell you the truth, we're ahead of schedule. Excellent. Just selected a volunteer. It's off. Oh, good. I've oh. been seized. Something you ate, sir? Seized with inspiration. A new idea. Oh, terrific. We're live, right? Yes, very. Hello, everyone. I've recalculated our plan. You see, if if we bring one of you here, well, I just get to meet one of you. I'm teleported to do it. I can meet all of you. I'll be with you in just a moment. Prepare yourselves for an unforgettable encounter. Uh, sir, I, I, I doubt that we, we are... Ah, remember, Spinlock, doubt is the rust of a feeble mind. The only way to seize the future is to grasp the present. Let's go. Grasp the present? Yes, well, Chairman certainly has a way with words. What do you say, Dr. Beard? Shall I grasp? Yeah, grasp, right, but first I have to totally recalibrate. Seize, grasp! Okay, Doctor. I am going as fast as I can. Don't scream! 